for uh, the next part of your blogging assignment, which is to use the draft back uh, plugin in Chrome to learn a little bit about how you are writing in Google Docs. So you'll notice that for uh, Thursday the 26th, the next blog post is due uh, in composed using Google Docs where you discuss various websites associated with your hashtag and what do you learn about your hashtag by seeing these particular spaces. Uh, that is the, the first part. The second part, the reflection part, I'm asking you to use uh, the DraftBack plugin for the Chrome browser. Now, uh, for the first part of your for the first blog post, you don't have to be using Chrome. You can compose this in any browser that has access to um, where you actually use um, Google Docs. It's late and I'm stumbling over my words. I apologize for that. Um, but for this part, you are going to need the Chrome browser, so please download that if you do not have it. And I will link to it. I'll update the page so this is linked to. And you'll see the complete the inspection. You'll need to install the DraftBack plugin for the Chrome browser. Uh, and you can learn about the DraftBack plugin a bit at draftback.com. It's a little technical, but it gives you some uh, detail. And I'm adding the special instructions uh, right now. So uh, in order to get the DraftBack plugin uh, installed and to begin working with it, uh, you can right-click on the plugin or the link and click on the tab. And it's again in Chrome. And you'll get a page that looks just like this. And you will, mine says add it to Chrome because I've already added it, but you can click add to Chrome and it will go through a couple of steps. You can just click OK and eventually it will be added to your space. Uh, when it has done that, you can close this out and close out the tab. And then what you do is in, um, you go to your Google Drive and you open the blog post that you have written in Chrome and you will see that I have, uh, I started writing the blogging assignment in Google Docs, so I would have something to uh, show you here. And up in the top right hand corner next to the comments button, you will see a link that says something about draft back. And it might say zero revisions or it might not have anything in the parentheses, uh, but just, you can just click on that and it will begin to render. Something will look like this, okay? it, will, it will pop up should have re-erased what I've done before. Okay, and what this is doing is it's gaining access to the history of what you've typed. Uh, Google Drive saves uh, your revisions by the microsecond, uh, so it records all of your keystrokes. And what the DraftBack plugin does is it accesses that uh, memory. So then you click View, and it will open for you in a new tab, and you will then begin to see your project or your writing, I'm sorry, playing back to you before your eyes. And if you spend some time looking at this, you can begin to learn about your writing process. Um, you know, do you find yourself erasing a lot? Do you find yourself uh, going back and changing things? Are you writing in a specific order? Uh, do you write a little bit, then go back and above? Do you stay in the particular order that you're doing it? Or do you write top to bottom and then do no editing? Uh, so those are questions uh, and things that you can then consider. Um, and in this area here, the little, if you look at the top, you can see this little thumbnail, you can determine by sliding up against this pink area how much of the page you want to see. And I recommend for our purposes dragging all the way to the top and then dragging pretty far down so we can see all of, as much as possible. And then just click play. Um, and then you can click this link for begin extraction for embed. And here is actually when you need to do this little up and down business. Oops. And then click play, and you'll see the number of revisions uh, starting. Okay. And I'd like you to get let this go for most of your document, uh, most of what you have written. Uh, you can increase the speed if you would like, so it goes faster, but it's still doing the embedding, or you can keep it slower. However you prefer, however you think somebody can learn about it. And so I can imagine this would be the end. And then when you're finished, uh, I would, like I said, I'd like you to go as, as far as you, as you can, that fits into this pink area, then just click Finish and Publish. 
and what it will do is it will create uh, an embed version of your of your of your drafts that you've composed. So then click Preview Embed, Embed, and it will open in a new tab. Now you cannot unfortunately embed this in a WordPress. Uh, Dot com blog, but you can link to it, and this is the URL that you would link to. And when you do that, make sure you do have the HTTP colon backslash backslash. Um, so this is what you would copy, and you would paste this that into your blog. And I don't have my my blog open, but you would then paste this into your blog and link to it. And then, so when you are composing your reflection, which asks you to reflect on not just what it was right well, right in Google Docs, but what it was like seeing this in front of you and what you learn about it by watching the draft back. I'd like you to include a link to that also so that uh, your readers and myself can can see that too. Okay, so again the process here very quickly is you install the draft back plugin, you go to um, your document in, in Google Docs, you click on the draft back link here, you watch it render the revisions, you click view, and you'll go to the other tab where you'll see it. You'll eventually get a, you'll hover over this and you click the embed link, you stretch the pink, larger and smaller, then you click uh, play and it will do all your revisions and then when you're ready to finish, you click finish and you then copy this URL. Okay. If you have trouble with this or any questions uh, about it, please let me know. If not, enjoy. It's actually really cool to, to see your writing appear to you before your eyes. See ya.